what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity jump guys I was recently on world star hip-hop stop the show demon access fly all the way to Atlanta where the NBA all-star game was and the thing about all-star games is a lot of guys find out who their women really are stupid and i i think that for a lot of black men it's it's sad because a lot of guys just can't accept what's going on in their relationships and they can't accept that uh stop to show that their girlfriends are not really nice women i mean that's just really what it is they think that they're nice but then they're not you know like you know when they're with them in your city uh, and your girlfriend is, you know, booty clapping sounds and you're, you know, you're hitting it every night and, um, you know, you think that you really have something good going on, but you know, a lot of guys who are really maybe not as successful or have a lot of money or have a lot of clout and, and again, hypergamy is real. And let's just say, for example, she's attractive. <clears throat> a lot of attractive women know that they have market and when they can get across guys who have money and have things going on for themselves a lot of guys find out that they're just you know in between guys like women will deal with guys but if they feel like the guy doesn't have a really long future they'll still like him and date him and maybe be in a relationship with him but they're they're looking to go do something else and what better time to that happen to have that happen then you know all-star weekend where all the guys across the united states are coming through big money big cars big jewelry big businesses illegal or legal and then you have the guy who's a normal guy and he really loves his girlfriend and thinks that she loves him but then you find out that it's not the case so story time music demon what happens if you have a girlfriend and she tells you that she's going to let her do one thing and you don't believe her and then you find out that she's out there seeing other guys how would you take it well this is what happens with this brother he's dating this you know attractive latina sister uh lena lady and she's telling him she wants to work on the relationship but her actions show much difference different right and when he finds her and catches her you know going to you know not the all-star game but maybe like in guys rooms uh, he has a panic attack, so let's go ahead and play the clip, and let's see his reaction when he finds out that his girlfriend really wants someone else and not his broke ass. That act like you ain't gonna do shit, and you saying that you won't work shit out, and you want you not gonna go out, and you go out fucking three days in a row. I hate you so much. I hate they you so much. Stop. No, like, no, like, no, 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 no
pretty sure a lot of things that she feels she can get from somebody else. And that's the downside of being a young guy dating a young woman that's really attractive and guys really want her. Especially if she's not black. And it seems like she's like Hispanic. So obviously niggas is going to be on her. Guys with money, older guys. It's kind of unfair. Okay. But here's the thing that young guys need to understand. She, it's She wins now. If you do what you're supposed to do, you will win later. Okay. Let me, let me just give you an example of what I'm talking about. A few years back, I was dating this chick. Really crazy about her. She was nice. And, um, but you know, I got, I got played a little bit. No, 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 no biggie. I didn't like, cry about her. Like, I got played. Um, then I found out recently that she's pregnant. 24 months pregnant. What? Um, by some guy, random guy. Um, not much of a future. Drops out of school. And, and I'm thinking to myself, like, wow like this is something that could have been me you know and you know you look at the little pregnancy photos and things like that and you're thinking like wow like she was a headache when she didn't have a kid like how much of a headache is she gonna be to the new guy and now i'm like thanking god like everybody like yo thank you god for like sparing me because that could have easily been me you know and this is what you guys need to look at if she's a headache for you and, and for most guys, you know, let's just be honest. For most of the women that you date, either you don't have the capacity to handle it. They are headaches for you. That headache is going to be dealing with somebody else. Now, you love her. you, And it's hard to get over a woman that you really care about, that you spend time with. But believe in yourself and, and bet on yourself. In the, in the long run, men have to play the long game. Women play a short game. Men play a longer one. Think about her in 10 years. What you're looking at right now is not what she's gonna look like for the most part. You can look even better if you work on yourself, you work out, you lift weights and things like that. And you know, you can earn more money. Your value can go up. I know it's hard when you think about it in the now when you're pissed off, but I'm thinking like, you know, the chick that gets pregnant, which is one of my exes did, and the value is automatically down. <clears throat> she breaks up with the guy, down. Like she'll become a single mom that won't want to deal with, will want to deal with her, and that's it. Life's over. No skills, broke, poverty. It's over. It's 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 done with. That's gonna be a lot of people. Okay, just understand that. Take it from an OG, guy that knows. You know, you will cry now, but if you do what you're supposed to do, guess who'll be hitting you up in like ten years, five years, and she'll be like, "Take me as a oh, I always knew you're gonna be successful. You were gonna be great." while she's still doing the same thing, getting passed around by all these different guys. And you know, you're talking about you hate her so much. Don't hate her. It's just the part of the game. It's what happens. Young guys, I understand this is just a part of what happens. It's a part of you becoming a man, getting your heart broken, getting played, <clears throat> getting done bad by a lady. It's what happens to every guy. It, and there's no age restriction. It happens to guys that's 40. 45, 50, you have guys who get divorced, look at Dr. Dre, lose their homes. It's a part of life, man. You know, like there's a scripture in the Bible that says, man born, man born of woman is but a few days. Those days are filled with trouble. So understand you're gonna have those kind of days. It's not uh, a problem to get played, to fell in love with a woman, but just know you can get over it. And the best thing is to get over it and do better the next time. And then you learn from it so you're not a simp again. That's the whole part of the red pill. The red pill is to understand things about yourself to overcome it so you don't fall into the same traps. Don't be mad at her. Don't hate her. Okay? It's no reason to hate her. She's not that important to hate. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk i really appreciate you for all that you do subscribe at the bell check out the first comment pinned to the top and as you know the buffoon remains at an all-time high i'm out don't forget check the patreon out guys peace out